Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Huawei officially announced iPhone 16 is the strongest challenge announced at a time of fierce battle. A few days ago, Apple announced that its autumn product launch conference will be held at 1 a.m. Beijing time on September 10, and the main topic of discussion is highlights. This time, in addition to the new Apple Watch, AirPods and iPhone 16, the most eye-catching thing is the new iPhone 16. However, judging from the display, the appearance of the iPhone 16 is unlikely to change significantly. The dandelion style screen and the standard type on the back will remain unchanged, but it will also return to the iPhone 12 model with a vertical camera. Most importantly, the display of the iPhone 16 has been greatly improved from 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches to 6.3 inches and 6.9 inches, with a larger screen and less black edges. However, overall, the update of the iPhone 16 is indeed very small, and I think Apple is continuing its usual squeezing, especially compared with Huawei. Then, just this morning, Huawei's official WeChat released a message called Huawei Honor Hongmen Sixing Product Launch Conference, which was scheduled for 14.30 on September 10, and Yu Chengdong also reposted it. Perhaps from this news, many people expected Huawei's Mate 70 series to be released at this year's conference, but it turned out not to be the case. Huawei's Mate 70 series will not be released until November at the earliest. What excellent products will Huawei display at this conference? Yu Minhong's statement is indeed very clear. This is a cross-border that no one dares to imagine, but it cannot be achieved. On the contrary, Huawei is working hard to turn this fantasy into reality. There are three foldable screens mentioned by Yu Chengdong refer to the previously exposed promotional pictures of three foldable screens released by Huawei. It can be seen that Huawei will launch the first model equipped with three foldable screens. According to earlier reports, this foldable phone will be the first phone to use a double folding screen which will improve the stability of the phone during the folding process and provide users with a larger screen area. The screen is said to be about 10 inches when fully enlarged, almost the same size as an ordinary tablet. This will be a revolutionary change in the mobile phones, allowing people to perform a range of tasks and watch TV more easily. As for the operating system, Huawei will customize the phone accordingly to provide a new and innovative experience, and may use Huawei's Hongmeng Next. For mobile phones with foldable screens, the folding effect is crucial to consumers, and Huawei is said to have passed the 28MUTG test, which means that the folding performance is excellent. Thin, flexible, hard and scratch-resistant UTG glass is the most important material for foldable screens. Huawei has made significant progress in research in this field and is expected to launch wrinkle-free and crease-free trifold mobile phones, significantly improving the user experience. At the same time, Huawei which occupies nearly half of the domestic foldable screen mobile phone market, is currently the leader in the foldable screen market and the most likely high-end product to take off. Now, Huawei is back at the forefront of technological development and has launched its first mobile phone with the trifold screen, which outperforms Apple's iPhone 16 series. Huawei is Apple's biggest competitor in China, and its trifold screen mobile phone can fully compete with the lackluster iPhone 16, but Huawei faces much greater challenges. 
It is worth noting that this is Huawei's first mobile phone with a trifold display, which is unprecedented in similar products. Huawei's pioneering design in this regard is being tested for product reliability and market acceptance. Compared with Apple's iPhone 16 series, Huawei's innovation ability is still stronger. According to the current operating information, Apple's iPhone 16 series has adopted a new bronze color scheme and then updated the A18 series processor for the entire series. There has been no particularly surprising update so far. Compared with the previous generation A17 series chips, the performance improvement of the A18 series is not particularly obvious, but it brings a new artificial intelligence algorithm that can provide users with a new intelligent experience. In a sense, the iPhone 16 series is Apple's first mobile phone equipped with artificial intelligence. In other details, the iPhone 16 series has also been optimized in many aspects such as appearance, size, screen and image. Currently, the standard version of iPhone 16 has two models, 6.1 inches and 6.9 inches, while the flagship version of iPhone 16 Pro has two large screen models, 6.3 inches and 6.9 inches. Unfortunately, only the Pro model still supports 120Hz high-definition images, while the image quality of the standard version is still slightly insufficient. In terms of imaging, the iPhone 16 Pro has a 12-megapixel selfie camera on the front, and a classic rectangular triple camera on the back, a 48-megapixel main lens with OIS a 48-megapixel ultra-wide-angle lens, and an artificial intelligence algorithm. It includes a 12-megapixel periscope telephoto lens that can provide better images. Although the previous generation has upgraded all aspects of the configuration compared to Apple's iPhone 16 series, the overall competitiveness is still weak, at least in terms of innovation. It does not give people a bright feeling, but looking at Huawei's three-screen foldable mobile phone and just a few words, it makes people excited, surprised and expectant. So on September 10, the 2024 Tech Spring Festival Gala may also be dominated by Apple and Huawei, raising expectations for appearance. Are you looking forward to Huawei's threefold screen mobile phone or Apple's iPhone 16 series? Welcome to leave a comment. If so, will you participate?